Hey, it's Ryan with Parts Doctor. In this video, I'm going to show you a GE water filter hack. Let's get started. Some GE refrigerators use a water filter like this. It has a built-in RFID chip that monitors the filter status, detects leaks, and resets the indicator light. GE filters last approximately six months, or 170 gallons, and the fridge will automatically turn on the indicator light when it's time to be replaced. If you're looking to extend the use of your water filter past the manufacturer's recommendations, or to disable the water filter indicator light on your refrigerator, all you need is a GE water filter bypass plug. If you need one of these, you can check out our website, partsdoctor.com. We'll leave a link in the description below. You wanna make sure that you're searching with the model number from the tag on your refrigerator to make sure you get the correct part. With the water filter removed from the refrigerator and our new bypass plug, we'll start by removing the RFID chip off of the water filter. Using your fingernail or a knife, carefully peel back the sticker where it says the word back. We have now exposed the RFID chip on the water filter. Now carefully pry off the RFID chip using your fingernail or a thin tool like a knife. Now we'll do the same thing with the filter bypass by peeling off the sticker. to expose the RFID chip. Now, very carefully pry off the RFID chip off of the filter bypass. Be very careful not to damage it. If it's damaged, you will not be able to transfer it to the filter. Now we can transfer the RFID chip over to the water filter. To transfer the RFID chip, simply set it in place with this side facing up, then put your sticker back in place. If you install a water filter without an RFID chip, or if the RFID chip gets damaged, you'll get this message. When done correctly, the display will now show not filtering when dispensing water. After installing the filter, run two gallons of water through the water dispenser to remove air from the system. As the air is purging from the system, water may spurt from the dispenser. The water may appear discolored during the initial flush, but will return to normal. When it comes time to actually replace the water filter, you can also find those on our website, partsdoctor.com. So that's it for this video. If you learned something new, hit that like button. And if you like fixing things, please consider subscribing.